welcome to this amazing edition of Salima Speaks. Well, as you all know, I already have a, show, a new show coming out called The Ultimate Cougars. And of course, cougars are older women that date, that date younger men. And I do date younger men. But I have a girlfriend that dates older men. And she said one day her and this dude were in the bed, they were get freaky. And she hears something to the side, she hears something say, pan, pan, pan. And she look around, pan, pan, pan. She look, dude got his thing hooked up to a pump. He pumping up his Johnson, you know? So she's like, well, okay, you kind of lost it for her, but she was still, you know, deal with dude, because he was kind of sharp. So hey, you know, they get into something, do it for about a minute. So then he gonna turn and say, wait a minute, baby. Now, let me tell you something. When you had to put that pump on your thing, you lost your base. You should have said, wait a minute, baby. Okay, okay. And another thing, check this out. He pumped it up again. This time he lasted two minutes. Then when he's done, he had to lay back and tell him, oh, can you fix me some breakfast? Check this out. If you're using a pump and you only last two minutes, you don't get breakfast. You better go get me some breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> we got a great show for you with a panel of women. Thank you. Come back, please. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to this edition of Salima Speaks. Well, um, I have a panel here of some black women and we're gonna talk to them about issues dealing with men and cheating and angry black women. Are we really angry or just black? Anyway, here are my crew. This is my girl, Crystal. Hi, Tell Salima. Me. Crystal Hand, Hand Ford. Ford, yes. Because <laughs> everybody says hands. And uh, as a matter of fact, she's a, the other part of the, the ultimate cougars on my reality show. And then tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm 46 years old. I work in the surgical department over at Drexel. Okay. I'm a mother of two children. Both are in college. One's mm -hmm. getting ready to graduate. And breast cancer survivor. And glad to be here with you today. Okay. Yeah, and that's just amazing. I'm, look at these boobs here. And they're real. <laughs> She's a breast cancer survivor. I mean, come on, you have people advocate for breast cancer. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you so much, ladies. And you all don't have to say your ages if yeah, you don't I'm want to. So, okay. And next, Sandra. My name is Sandy G. And I'm from Philadelphia originally. And I'm still back in Philadelphia. I'm retired. And I'm just enjoying life. Retired from what? I used to work in the casino business. I was a floor person and a dealer for like 22 years. Oh, wait, really? Oh, that must be interesting. Yes. And my gorgeous little cousin here, Tiffany. Hello, my name is Tiffany Dance. I'm a graduate of Rutgers University. I work in special education as a teacher now. And I'm also an author of a new self-help book called Diamond Cut the Pain, How to Shine Like a Diamond. Great. Hi, everyone, uh, my name is, Sh oh, hello everyone. My name is Shelly. Um, I am a mother of two, a grandmother of seven, and married to a fantastic man. Um, I'm an accounts payable associate at a financial investment and advisory firm, and I'm happy to be on the show this evening. And my best girlfriend, Miss Grease, is her mother. <laughs> okay. Shout out to mom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, everybody. My name is Jamie Bowles. I am 27 years old. I'll give my age because okay, I don't mind. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am a graduate of Arcadia University. Um, got my bachelor's in communications. I work at the university currently, but my passion is my radio show that I have on Saturdays. I'm going to plug myself. Good, go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Saturdays at 11 a.m. on 900 a.m. WURD. The show is called Word Up, and it's all about youth issues. So anything relating to the youth whatsoever, teen pregnancy, college prep, single parenthood, obesity, I cover it all. So all right. wow. that's how I got to meet cool. these lovely folks here. And I'm going to hand the mic back to... Our darling and I cinema. thank you much. <laughs> this, is, this is my show. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I want to have a, a panel of women because everybody's always talking about angry black women. What do you guys think about that? What are, you, are you an angry black woman? I'm not angry at all. Okay. I'm, I'm just direct. Okay. And, and I speak. I speak how I feel. I'm older now, so okay. I feel like I can say whatever the hell I do want. Do you think to. you're kind of harsh though? Very much. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Do you think you're angry black women or just black? I'm not. Okay. I'm a very confident, assertive, aggressive black woman, but I'm not angry. Okay. Now, when you deal with people, like when you, you're dealing with men, are you aggressive and angry? Because, you know, honestly, when I talk to men, that's the first thing they say, y'all too angry. Then we go to white women, y'all get mad. But, and maybe we're not, but I do see a lot of sisters, ah, yeah, man, you ain't this. Who wants that? You know, yeah, no on their shoulders. Nobody wants that. Right, yeah. Tiff? No, I mean, I don't think I'm angry. I think I know what I want. I know mm -hmm. I have my standards. I know I have my values. And I won't accept anything less than I'm worth. So you wouldn't deal right. with a guy that was a drunk and didn't have a job? <laughs> No, thank you. I'll pass. I'll, I'll stick to my man that I have now. You know? And, and you know what? And, you, and it's crazy because a lot of times guys, oh, you think you all that. You damn right. I think I'm all that. And you do. Okay. You think I'm all that too. Okay. And if you don't think to nobody be, else will. Exactly. That's right. And not only that, if you work like that, you would be all that as well. There you go. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. So, you know, anybody right. can wear that title as long as you put in the work. Yes. Okay. Well, well how about if a man tells you, look, baby, I like you so much, but I don't have a job right now. Can we still be together, Shell? Well, not if I'm just meeting you. Now, if we've been together and it's just so happened, you know, after we've cultivated a relationship and something happens that you don't have a job, I know that it's more to it than that. Right. Then I can help you through it. But you have to deem yourself worthy. Right. Other than that, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know, because I met this dude. He was telling me, he was like, my girlfriend left me. I lost my job. I don't have nothing. I'm overweight. I'm sick. I got diabetes. You think we can make it? I just met you, cuz. <laughs> no, we can make it. Is that his right. disclaimer? <laughs> <laughs> <Not all right. laughs> you leave with that story? <laughs> all right. He looked all sad and everything. I'm like, wow. What? He's getting the same like value. Like, know, a little, right? like a little puppy dog. Like, like yeah. okay. If he supports me, I'll support him. <laughs> Okay. I think it depends on, I mean, like she said, if I'm just meeting the guy and he comes straight out and says, listen, I don't have a job right now, but I know that he's working towards something and he doesn't come off as a guy who's just cool with not having a job and just chilling on unemployment, then you know what? We can work together. I'm Maybe I'm going to help you try to find a job. You know, okay. I'm going right. to help you right. try and better yourself because that's what a relationship is supposed to be right. about. But right. if he's just like, yeah, you know, I'm just doing Jose, my little I, I got a rap career. He's 45 years old. He got a rap career going on and Rolling. he just been trying to start it for <laughs> 10 years. No, I've heard <laughs> this before. I'm not telling you stuff. I don't know. This dude was telling me trying to start a rap career. He's been doing it for, for 15 years now, but he's going to make it soon, but he don't have no job. We're living with moms right he's now. He's trying to start a rap okay. career and he's been doing it for 15 <laughs> Years? Oh. When is it gonna kick into gear? Wow. I don't okay. <laughs> like. I don't know. Man. If that's something he wow. wants to do for fun, then that's one thing. But right. for actual to be little Wayne at forty-five, you're not going <laughs> no, there. That's, I'm exactly. that's not gonna happen. Exactly. Not How many men do you meet that say that they're producers? Oh Lots. yeah, so many. Lots. And they said that they're producing is <laughs> they're making tapes in their basement or wherever yeah. mm -hmm. and sell them out the back of their car. But you know, honestly. Men don't do, I'm not angry at men, I'm angry at women. They don't do no more than let them do. You know, exactly. that's why I don't have mm -hmm. a lot of women friends because it's like, well, what did you do? What did do you accept? Mm -hmm. Now, my thing, I have a pet peeve with women. You meet a man, thank God none of my women on the panel like that. You like him, okay? Y'all, it's all about the sex, okay? The sex is good, boom, boom, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You like him more than he like you. So you get pregnant so he could be with you. And if he don't want you, he's a no good dog. See it so many times. 
and I talk to a lot of women, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because you want this man and you want to be the father of your child, don't mean he want for you to be the mother of his child. Mm -hmm. So it should That's be his, ch his, his, his choice. You see on Maury, the women dancing because now you the father, you are the father. Why are you dancing? He don't want you. Right. You know, mm -hmm. you you uh, you raped him and stole the sperm. I mean, maybe you didn't rape him, maybe he really wanted to, but you, you, right. you, you stole the sperm, you know? Mm -hmm. he, didn't want to, he didn't want you to, to be the mother of his child. So what I'm saying, before women say he a dog because he don't want me, what were you, you were with him, you slept with him, right. okay? And just because you feel now you want, because I heard some young girls talking the other day, see that dude, he fine, I'm gonna have a baby by him. What's to say he wants you to be the mother of his child? Why is that your aspiration? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Foremost, like, exactly. Exactly. You know, exactly. And you know, guys, I, I, had did, I recently did a show, a Bedroom Candy show, and um, there was a book, um, and they were asking questions. And one of the questions were, uh, like, they have dildos, and uh, one of the questions was, if a man um, wants for you to use it on him, on his, on, in his butt, mm -hmm. or, uh, would you, do you think that's gay? I'm yes. I'm not doing it, so <laughs> okay. I could care less if you gay as fair. I'm I mean, not sticking nothing up nobody. Yeah, and how, do you, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, I think that's just a, uh, it's freaky. Yeah, so I mean, I think own. it's extra kinky, and if exactly. you're into that, you know, that's fine. But yeah. I mean, I do it's think it's not my cup of yeah, tea. Yeah, it's exactly. not my cup of tea, and I do think that you know you are that way, Suspect. and there's nothing wrong with that. But right. if that's your in what you're into, but. right. Yeah. I mean, Shell, you were going to say? See, I was getting ready to say because my mind is like all over the place with that one for the simple fact that um, it is a guilty pleasure. And if it was ever done to you before, you can kind of see why maybe it's, it, 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 you would want, they would want it to be done. Right. But then again, it depends on uh, where you are. Does he necessarily have to be gay? I don't think so. I really don't think that he has to be gay if that's the only um, sexual pleasure that he wants and there's no other tendencies there. Oh, Again, I, I, well, see, I, uh, we disagree on that, child. No, I think I if you want something up your butt, I just okay, no, just check you out. If you not there with that little dildo and Johnny across the street is home, okay. hey, guess what? No, but see, Johnny across the street coming <laughs> over your house. Johnny, Johnny but, uh, your man. what I'm saying, it depends okay. on where you are okay. with that. And, and that's why I said my mind was all over the place yeah. because it's dependent, it really depends on where you are with it. You okay, well, you know where I'm, where I'm, now there was a okay. there was a time when I was there. Now I'm not down there now, and I'll play okay. the devil's advocate. But I'm just keeping my mind open to the okay. situation. Can you understand what I'm saying? I can understand. It, it's a guilty pleasure. Right. You know what I'm saying. So and then if and then if he's asking me to do it, right. We're guilty pleasuring together. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about it, Jamie? Like, I mean, I think. That's, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Put yeah, me straight on know, the spot. I mean, you know. I'm not okay with it because if you get stimulated by an act that's homosexual, I mean, you could be on the down If it walk you know like a I mean? duck and quack and got webbed feet, guess what? It's probably a duck. Okay. 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 okay but right. see, we didn't say all of that. That's why I said my mind was kind of like everywhere. All of that was not put out there. So the variables is... Me and my man is together. It might look. I might want him to turn around and stick it up mines afterwards. Okay. I, although he has his own, okay. but it depends on role plans. So what are we playing tonight, Daddy? Can okay. you understand what I'm saying? Tonight? What are we playing tonight, that Mommy? So it's like Full you know the mind is open. Exactly. Well, but, <laughs> my but my thing is, if you Money, know this nine, person nine. now, and I wouldn't do that to anybody that I just met. Again, it's who you know, okay. and then and again, you have to know yourself. Right. So regardless of if he wants it up his you know, high and low, we can or say what? Can you understand what I'm saying? And okay. it's not my friend, well, you know, so check you know, this out. To, to close this out, if you're my man, you want up your butt, you ain't getting a hit because you're gay. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you ever Use been in jail? jail? You won't okay. be mine either. You, you oh, can indulge I say that? guilty pleasure <laughs> I'm saying, no. ain't no indulging guilty pleasure, all that high, high sounds cute yeah. and dandy, but if you want me to stick something up your, you better go get Henry across the street. Okay? Right. The, better, the anyway, bigger question next. is, whose dildo is it? Does he give it to you and say, and, can you drop it No, but you know what? See, look. <laughs> that could be the deal breaker. Stick and and I, knew, <laughs> no, I knew a guy that had one. I was kind of, you know, talking to the brother. We was at the gym and this bag fell and it fell. And I'm like, oh, what's that? That's you know, it. and oh, he told me oh, that he yeah. likes that he, that's that one of his guilty. Pl Boyfriend was, was Fine as he could be, why was he but uh, why was he because that was gay? Like okay. I said, you carried it around, okay. That mean you gay. 
<laughs> so, so my thing is this, I'm not doing it to you. You can't even do it to me. I ain't that freak. I'm freak. I ain't got that okay. quite that freaky yet. But um, <laughs> not saying that. Well, anyway. Yeah. But um, <laughs> so now, now let's get on on the age old question. Do you think that all men cheat? Tiff? No. Okay. I don't believe that all men cheat. I Have believe. you ever dealt with somebody that did? And how did you find out if they did? And they, they admitted be watching to the it. Show? And when they be watching the show, you could tell them, boy, that no good son of a gun they are <laughs> yeah. cheating on this beautiful woman. But you know woman. what? Anyway, it's no need to show. do that. You know, okay. that's their loss. You know, they exactly. cheat, that's their loss. Right. So, you know, I just know, you know now, I, so I, I don't I feel to. Uh, differently about cheating. This is my opinion. You know, I used to feel one way when I was younger, but now I feel this way. If, um, if a man is out there, and uh, like I was talking to a guy that was a record producer, and he was supposed to be producing with this 22-year-old uh, woman. Uh, she's a rap artist, and she was young and fine, built like a brick house. They were supposed to go to California to do a show mm -hmm. and uh, where she might have won the award. And I mm -hmm. said, you know, I understand if you're out celebrating and something happens, you know, hey, whatever, just don't bring nothing home to me. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're gonna do that, you just make sure you protect yourself. I'm all right with that, because I'm comfortable with mine right now. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Mm -hmm. You know, I know personally some women that have left good men, and, and they can be a good man and still cheat, slip up. I'm not saying somebody that cheats all the time. I'm saying if some stank hey, hoe run cheated. up on your man, and, had, and she and don't have person. no underwear on, and she starts sucking that thing, um, anybody, a yeah, saint, basically. might go ahead right, and do it. Right. So the thing is, if he does it like like that, don't leave a good man. Because check this out. If he comes back to you and wants to be with you, give him a chance. Why are you going to let her have him? Okay, you know? wait a minute, wait a minute. Because no man is going to give you a second chance. I know many men that say, if my woman or my Absolutely. girlfriend cheat on me, we it's done. done. Yeah, I'm okay. not it's a done deal. deal. That's yeah. It's a double standard. And anybody else That's been right. in it, Da, 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 da. And they okay, so all right, baby, it's different. Well. It's if different. they do it, it's okay. If we do we it, do we're, it, it's, we're, we're all Listen, mm -hmm. it's different with a man and a woman, okay? A man can get drunk, sloppy drunk, and fall down the middle of the street, come back the next day, brush yourself off, and he's still mister. If you do it, you're a hoe, okay? Because okay. exactly. we it is a different standard for a lady, That's okay? Right. Don't, yeah. don't be a lady and try to do what a man do, because you can't do it. But see, that's mm -hmm. the operable word right there, lady. We have a lot that does not operate, a lot of women that do not operate in that manner. The title of lady has been exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But then you wouldn't be so, treated, they wouldn't be treated like, like a lady. A lady. Well, you can't well, act like a scum and be treated like a lady. Exactly. Okay. So if you act like saying, a hoe, you're gonna be treated game, like a hoe. Right. Exactly. Okay. Don't come screwing this man, screwing that man, screwing. They say, I want you to respect me. You don't respect yourself, yourself. so how are you going to respect mm -hmm. you? Okay, so I have a problem with that. You know, because some too. women, and I know some women, I'm not going to say your name, but <laughs> they're out there whoring around with all these men and then want respect. And you know, if you, nine times out of 10, if you meet a man and sleep with him the first night, it's all about the sex. So don't right. come back thinking he's gonna introduce you to his mother, because right. it's all about right. the sex. Mm -hmm. If you wanna be respected, you gotta respect yourself. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. So that's what I'm saying. If you, if you wanna be treated a certain way, don't go acting like a oh, hoe, yeah. I'm all bad. I'm like, yeah, we, I'm like, I just want that thing. I don't mm -hmm. want nothing but that dick. And then you fall in love. I want you to be my man. He ain't thinking, mm -hmm. man, he thinking right. you a hoe. Mm -hmm. We can still do that, but you ain't gonna never meet my mama. Think you know? like a lady, act like a slut. <laughs> <That's what they're laughs> exactly. You know, exactly. You know, be, you know, a lady, so, be a lady in the street and a freak in the bed. Yeah, and you, and you can be that, but you know, you can't be, uh, we're, talking about this, we're talking about Marisol or more. She got about, what, 19 baby daddies and stuff. Right. And, and, and who's going to want her? You know, honestly, mm -hmm. who's going to? But now, I do know some men that have forgiven women. Okay. okay? Um, <sighs> there are, because, you know, there are still some good men out there. And this is the thing, people think that all men are bad, bad. all men are no good. I know so many men that are good that they're getting the short end of the stick. Right. And I agree with you on that, and it's something because when I say I would play the devil's advocate, 
because I've been out there and I've dealt with all types and I have been all types, but I am now married to a good man. I didn't think that there were any out there because they were all playing games and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know what you said, again, you said uh, hitting on a lot of key points. You know, it's it wasn't until I started respecting myself exactly. and, and exactly. giving myself self-worth that yeah. I found someone who gave me the same thing and and in turn he is the same way can you understand what i'm saying so like right now i am married to a wonderful man Good you know you. and you can I've give never, a plug what's his name his name is kenneth curry that's my he's baby a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> you know and he's a good man and again it wasn't until I stopped doing those type of things myself. Okay. You know, because like I said, again, going back to the deal, doing all of that stuff, been there, you know what I mean? But no, that's not the type you want to take home. But again, it's where you are, it's all about me. Okay. You know, it can't be about anybody else. It's all about me, regardless of what stage in life I am. It's okay. about me. That's right. And yeah. that's right. going to be yeah. who I attract, who I don't attract you know, what's happening with me, what's not happening with me. So, you know, once okay. I got it together, then everything else became together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about that? I think we honestly need to have this conversation from two different perspectives because there's the older generation of dating and things like that, mm -hmm. and there's the younger generation, and they are two totally different types of dating. Right. And we can carry ourselves a certain way. We can be the lady. We can be respectable. We can hold out on the first date as much as we want to go through with it. We can do all the right things and still meet the wrong guys, that no matter how we put ourselves out there. But it doesn't matter if you're exactly. older or younger. Yeah. That falls in the category with just about any woman. Yeah, it's but it's, really it comes does. down to like chivalry and all that kind of stuff too. And in this day and age, chivalry is real. I mean, being a gentleman is still alive in a sense, mm -hmm. but chivalry is, is completely and totally dead. And it's women are just as much to blame as men for that because... Men, like you said in the beginning, men will only get away with what we allow them to. Exactly. Right. We hold all the cards. Yeah. Right. So the moment that we start letting or accepting them, disrespecting us, or treating us any less than what we're worth is the moment that chivalry died. Exactly. And, and you know, exactly, I, I, I agree with that, but you're, you're right, it is us. Because if you meet a man, prime example, my first husband, all right, um, beautiful guy before I married him, <laughs> one of, one, but if you, <laughs> He was, he was a beautiful guy, nice looking, um, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I will say Billy Holiday's cousin, you know, and Sandy ran that family, but um, he was a nice guy. Okay, we got married, he changed on our wedding night, okay? What's wow. a woman to do? He, this is my thing, I married guy A, you're guy B, okay? Guy B is who you really are. You are pretending to be guy A, okay? Mm. I married guy A, but now I find out you're guy B. Six weeks later, see you later, bye. I wow. left. Okay. Most people, I don't know what, what for what reason, would not have done that because he had the house, he had the car, we we could travel, he had money. I could have anything I wanted, but you know what I wanted? Peace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peace. You can't buy peace. Can't and buy I have given up. I I know a lot of guys with money. Okay, but they're not peaceful. They don't have peace in their heart, and that's what you have to have. I don't do the that's negative right. drama, but the thing is. Don't sit back and say, oh, he's no good. Oh, he's doing this to me. Oh, he's doing, because you're allowing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And if you don't allow it, he can't do it. You learn, you teach That's people right. how to treat you by allow what you allow them exactly. to do to you. Exactly. Exactly. So. I, I, I truly feel that. <laughs> and, and if you're going to hang in there, just be, even if he's not treating you well, and you hang in, it, hang in there with him because of the things he can give you, and is giving you or will be giving you, then you're prostituting yourself. Exactly. Basically, yeah. And yeah. I mean, as, because, I mean, I might be the only single one in here actually looking around the room no, now no, that I think no, about no, it. No, no, Okay, cool. Because well, I'm, I'm like, I've recently met be. somebody two okay. weeks, knock on, look, two yeah. weeks, knock on wood. But I mean, two weeks, you, know? you, you get frustrated because you are trying to put forth that lady persona, not persona, but that, that being a lady, you right. know, you're trying to carry yourself in a certain way. You're trying to attract a certain kind of man, not purposely attract, but hoping that the person that you put out in the world is going to attract that kind of man and, and it, it doesn't, doesn't happen. happen and you keep right. seeing this this hoe get married this hoe have a baby this hoe get married and you're just right. like am i chopped liver am right. i doing something I wrong exactly and then you start to saying. question your standards but and you that's what, what is wrong but with society this hoe now. and that hoe and that hoe will settle mm -hmm. for, you don't know how that man is treating this hoe I know. and that right. hoe okay. so, exactly. so, so they will settle for because they know that they or this hoe, that hoe, that right, slut. Right, right, right. So they will settle for that, okay? If you're, 
like I said, I'm, I'm newly talking to somebody right now. Um, beautiful guy, uh, somebody I never thought I would be with, but he's a really nice guy, and he loves me. And he says he's trying to do everything to so that I can love him. He wants to. He, it's all about Salima. It's always been about Salima. So you know, I mean, so he so he knows it. Okay, so he knows it. You know. So um, but if you allow them to get away with treating you a certain way, that's how they're going to treat you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm that's not right. going to settle. I just, I'm not going to settle. And you shouldn't either. No one should. But and you, you have know. so many beautiful women that, that, that have low self-esteem. You look curious. at them and think, man, she's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, she can have anybody she wants. Then you say she got this no good, big, fat, burly looking thing, treating her like a dog, but She's beautiful, but has low self-esteem. She doesn't want to be without a man. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Even exactly. though you right. know, he's right. not the kind of man yeah. she wants, but she's settling, like you said. Exactly. And and you I'm know, not settling for anything. And, so and that's true, and, and, and seeing you have the strength to do that, but there are a lot of women out there who don't have the strength to do that. And I don't want to come off on anything else, you know, on something else, but I used to... Um, I'm sorry, show. I'm sorry, you can't finish, dear, because we're oh, this is show. And you know, with women, with women on, I need so much more time because you know we can talk i know and you oh, know wow. we, can talk. We, we need more time but you know what <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to have you ladies back on and next time i want to bring some men on too so we could talk to them you know personally so thank you ladies bye, bye. bye. beautiful smart ladies see men okay and thank you all too for tuning into this amazing edition of salima speaks remember love yourself Love others and don't forget to stretch. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>